They're combing the streets. Searching house to house. If they arrest you two, they will take you to their headquarters, and you will not return. I'm more concerned with a six-foot cat man who's got claws that can cut through vibranium alloy. By my count, that makes two super soldiers loose in Paris. Three. Counting you. And that's two too many. Be there before the sun rises, before the Germans, before that American. The eye of force has been found. Please, just stick to the rooftops. Be careful, stand by me. When am I not? It's better if I tackle this one alone. You may. Encounter some obstacles. That won't be a problem. Our cat friend is definitely here, too. And by the look of things, he's not very far ahead. The American boy is right on your heels. Who the hell are you? If you wanted us dead, we'd be dead. So what do you want? Answers. That's far enough! Stay out of my way! Stay Aside. I do not take orders from anyone! I don't have time for this. Neither do I.
I still can't believe you went. What are you thinking? Going to that place. Wish you hadn't got yourself into this mess, but you did. You can't run forever. I know you were just trying to do right by me, so I need you to do what's right by us. Now, please, Cass. Shit! I am so tired of fighting. I just want it to be over. I want you home. The girls want you home, but... If you don't deal with this, then we are done for good. I love you. But I won't wait forever. I've been left behind on Isla Nublar.
anyone there? Pure and radiant, he wields love to shrive clean the hearts of men. There is nothing more terrifying. Second place. Blood must spill. Blood of your fellows. They are truly faithful. They were never saints. They just happened to be on the losing side of a war.
presume you, too, are keen to know. Just what kind Mikola is doing here. Those stripped of the grace of gold shall all meet death. Come now, touch the withered arm, and travel to the realm of shadow. I will not be far behind. May we meet again. Let me tell you what you are missing, Dr. Jones. While you were playing your pointless game, I was playing you. You're wondering if maybe you should have built yourself a life of meaning instead of ending up here, dead and forgotten in the sense of Africa. <laughs> Myths. History. Just different ways to interpret the past. Thousands of years of humanity's thoughts and beliefs scattered and buried. Just waiting to be found. You can't just run away from your problems, Indiana. Watch me. Throughout history, mankind has built sites of great spiritual significance. If you were to draw a line through these ancient sites around the globe, you get a perfectly aligned circle. I've had run-ins with these guys before. Trust me. It ain't a walk in the park. Okay, then. Let's see if you can keep up. What do you mean if I can keep up? <laughs> Patron of the fallen angels. Protector of the... Kulimani, the Great Circle. You have any idea how old that was? I, the Keeper of the New West, welcome the Destined One. The destined one who doesn't even know what he's destined for. Those old rascals, they surely know how to name. Tell me. Is my kind destined for extermination? You're driven by glory, not destiny. So this is the face of the destined one. It will fit me just as well. Bathed in blood, yet preaching peace. Oh, you immortals, pray enlighten me. What justifies your superiority?
destiny. Good luck, Charm. Remember? It's an empty shop. Decided to play soldier with me? Dimitri and I were just discussing a certain puzzle we found in the zone. But we can't quite seem to get all the pieces to fit. Maybe you can figure it out. It reminded me that we used to be puppets. I took just one awkward step, and my whole world plunged into darkness. <laughs> I'm sorry, Strider. <laughs> that was the day the sea fields were turned off. Suddenly, the voice of Monolith was gone. I felt as if I was awakening from a years-long coma. And through the scope, we saw the body of an unknown soldier fall. We had a simple choice. Sit back and just wait for another super emission. Or take a chance and get control of the anomalous energy. Only I didn't choose that path. Unlike you. We fight for everyone. And we always will. The crows rule Antiva. Glory to the risen gods. They come to deliver this world. Ray wardens don't hide in our castle. I won't ask good soldiers to turn tail and run. All the world will soon share the peace and comfort of my reign.
Welcome to the world of Stellar Blade. The story begins on post-apocalyptic Earth, where a mysterious enemy called the Natiba has forced the human race to flee to an off-world colony. Players will take control of Eve, a member of the 7th Airborne Squad. Her mission is to save the planet by defeating the Elder Natiba. All we must do is complete the mission. While most of the 7th Airborne Squad is lost during their descent from the colony, Eve soon meets two new companions. Adam, born on Earth, is in pursuit of an energy source Still, called Hypersound. Make sure to stay cautious. That's where the Alpha and AT by is. So this must be 8 or 7. Lily, a member of the 5th Airborne Squad, provides engineering support. Lily Artemis II. Then I can be your engineering support. She puts her technical knowledge to use by upgrading Eve's equipment throughout the game. Here. Done. Something does feel different. This is Zion. A city built underneath the wasteland by the last human survivors on Earth. A whole city underneath the wasteland. Eve is called Angel, Angel by the survivors and is an object of both awe Zion. and fear. I'm not selling anything to you. They'll seem a bit wary at first, but will gradually loosen up as Eve clues? shows a commitment to rebuilding the city. Hello, Angel. How are you? I see we have guests. I can't believe the Angel is here. The survivors will sometimes ask Eve for help. Please save my younger sister. Wait right here. Their requests will often lead her to the wasteland and the Great Desert. This place has been overrun by Natibas. And malfunctioning machines and robots. A supply camp in a place like this. You'll occasionally find supply stations set up by previous airborne squads. At each camp, Eve can purchase various consumable items. Acquire new skills. Upgrade equipment and more. She can also take a well-deserved break to restore her health. Eve will often encounter people in need and other non-human beings who may need her help. Request your assistance. Whether to assist or ignore them is entirely up to the player. On her journey to defeat the Elder Natiba, Eve will sometimes encounter hostile survivors. Or... Something worse. What are you going to do after you defeat the Alpha Natiba? All airborne squad members exist for one sole purpose. You mean the extinction of all Natibas, right? To think that the point of your existence is to snuff out another species. That is not an easy fight. It's fine. I can do this alone. It won't be easy. Angel, that's the unofficial name for members of the EVE Airborne Squad. I can feel the hatred, but I cannot feel the source. I will find it, and I will make it pay. Open it! It's windy! No more lies to burn my eyes. Choose what you move. Uh, collapse! Drone is different. This is no longer the drone you knew. So come to the gods. 
Dragon Lands by an emperor who couldn't bother to come himself. To investigate some plague that seems to be corrupting our very souls. You want us to trust you. But the truth is, you scare us. The way you fight. The power you wield. The secrets you keep. You're either here to save us. or destroy us. But now that you have all this power, what are you gonna do with it? Has you ain't paid your nugs yet? Oh, fuck me. Life's best is always in Do the same for her, that one. Hey! What? Nothing ever changes. Get out of here! Calm down. I'm going. Good choice. You have a good day, too. Oh. Don't have those fucking excuses. Do you think this is a joke or what? Oh. The only reason you're still bleeding! Oh. Stop! Oh, sorry. Shit, you idiot! <laughs> what a fool. What a side, boys. There's the line. But you had your share, my get lost. Get lost. Nobody wants to Oi, you twat! What was that? Sorry, you fucking twat! him up! Time to put that booty to good use. Still taking bets? Come. <laughs> That's a big boy. <laughs> Come on, fry him. Yeah. <laughs> I really thought you could get away with this, eh? Wait. <laughs> I...
Take care, good host. Watch out, Nor. Do those statues look like you? They were probably inspired by one of my visits. I travel to the above when the great below got too much to bear. Something's off. Keep your eyes peeled. Just nor.
sound of the silence I can move like the wind With the eyes on my target I will bloom in my sin Wide awake like I'm dreaming Getting closer to Blood is singing. I will wait for you. I can do is light your way down. About ready to give in? No. I was born for this. You trifle with powers far beyond your comprehension, witch. Okay, if I call you witch like that. Vengeance for your family awaits you. He is no mere titan. He is time itself. And time cannot be stopped. Wait for me, father. I'll be this. An eternity it spent playing out in the tortured halls of my mind. Mentors, friends, and lover alike turn against you. Whatever end we meet, it has been a delight to compose the song of change together.
the swirling maelstrom of creation. Magnificent. Is it not? What if you could change the decisions you regret in your life and see the outcomes of those choices with your very own eyes? The Altus tells the story of Jan Dolsky, a simple miner who survived a crash landing on a hostile planet. He quickly realizes that what was supposed to be a lifetime job opportunity turns into a desperate fight for his life. Jan will need to handle a large mobile base that's designed to be operated by an entire team of qualified personnel. Even worse, the planet Jan landed on revolves around the deadly scorching star. Escaping the sunrise is crucial for survival. Despite his best efforts, Jan simply lacks the time and skills to deal with all these problems on his own. But, the planet Jan is stranded on is home to a mysterious substance called Rapidium. With its use and the help of the quantum computer on board, Jan is able to create alternative versions of himself. The Alters. Each one of them is the result of altering a crucial decision from Jan's past. The altars are a reflection of the questions he asks himself. What if I never left my hometown? What if I didn't drop out of college? What if I fought harder to save my marriage? Our altars have the necessary knowledge and skills that we desperately need to succeed. But they also come with their own goals, ambitions and fears, all derived from their different life paths. And that can generate problems. Stop pretending you have any idea how I feel. Incompetence, incoherent decision-making, a groundbreaking mission on the verge of failure. Damn, I just hope I don't fuck everything up again. You want a relationship that lasts, put some effort in it. Each Yan is a different person. It will be extremely difficult to keep everyone happy. You gotta learn how to say no sometimes. But we must do whatever we can, because as the mission goes on, the challenges will only pile up. Obstacles on the outside, internal tensions that could prove to be even more dangerous. And with a ticking clock of the deathly sun behind our backs, the only way home is to press forward. Shots fired!
Is Oscar! 